Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today we continue our look at the Project E mod um, by how to make and use a Watch of Flowing Time and the Dark Matter Pedestal. Uh, this is probably one of the most popular and most used items in Project E, uh, and it is a great item to get your hands on. If you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all our videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So, first thing we're going to look at is the Watch of Flowing Time. Okay. To make that, you're going to need a regular clock, two glowstone blocks, a piece of obsidian, and four dark matter. If you're unfamiliar with how to make dark matter, go into your JEI. We'll click on that real quick. The dark matter is a turnus fuel surrounding a block of diamond. If you're not sure how to make the different fuels and such, I do have a tutorial showing how to make and use all the different fuels, and I will link those down in the description of this video. But uh, if you need a dark matter block, it's four dark matter will provide you the block. So you don't have to do the full nine in this recipe. Okay, that's gonna give you your watch of flowing time. Next is the Dark Matter Pedestal, which is going to be five of those Dark Matter blocks I just showed you, and four Red Matter. Again, for Red Matter, it's going to be six Furnace Fuel and three Dark Matter. So, once you have these two things, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this device. Let's go ahead and grab one. So, Watch of Flowing Time is basically exactly what it sounds like. It is a watch that controls time. You can speed up, stop, or re go reverse in time. So if you're holding this in your hand, and look up there in the sky, we'll see the clouds are moving a bit to the left there. Right-clicking it has moved it into fast-forward mode. Look at, this, look at the space. See how quick it's going now, the stars and such? Clicking it, right-click again, puts it in rewind, and actually moves time backwards. And a third click turns it off, puts it back to normal. So again, see how slow the stars are moving? Right click again, fast forward. Why is this helpful? Well, primarily if you're in the night cycle and you wanna to get to day and you don't have uh, sheets on where you can just make it daytime, this is an easy way to speed time up or vice versa. Say you're in the daytime and you're working on one of the mods that requires nighttime. This will allow you to get to the nighttime quicker. Reversing it, same way. Get back to the day, get back to the night. So the watch of flowing time, again, kind of handy because you can basically change the day cycle, move it from day to night, night to day, allowing you to sleep when you need to um, or work on mods that require moonlight and things of that nature. Handy to have. But where the watch is best used is on a dark matter pedestal. Let's put one down. The dark matter pedestal will hold just about anything. Um, we can just go ahead and grab a regular sword. You just set that on top of there. And it's a great little display stand. You can use it just as that if you want to use it for nothing else. Right? So if you don't want that, though, <laughs> there are some other options you can use it for. Any of the, the different trinkets, majority of the trinkets and such that you can make in Project E can be placed on the stand. Um, the watch is, of course, no different. So if you place a watch on there, and then right-click it, <laughs> that little noise. Now it's got the little flame effects. In a specific area, time is now moving drastically quicker. Right click again to turn it off. Now, how much quicker? Let's take a look. We go ahead and grab ourselves a bonsai hopper. Grab ourselves just regular brown mulch. Grab ourselves a sapling. In this case, we'll use a coal sapling. And then just a regular chest to set it on. I'm going to set that right here, put our bonsai hopper on top, put in just some regular brown mulch, and add our sapling. As you can see, that's how quickly the sapling, sapling is growing. 20%, 30% in brown mulch, it speeds it up. That is very handy to have. Say you want to go faster. Right-click to watch a full time. And it is literally cycling almost instantaneously. It's not even getting a chance to go past 6 or 7%, and it's already done. Look in there, it's just going to start popping things up every few seconds. 
that the watcher flowing time has increased the speed. Now, this is going to work on almost anything. Um, mechanism blocks, cyclic blocks, you have your uh, generators, lava production, obsidian making. Putting down a watcher flowing time and turning it on will drastically increase time within a specific space. And my understanding, I believe, it's a 5x5 five five square with the dark mirrors on the, in the center. I haven't worked that out specifically, so I may be off on that, but normally I believe it's a 5x5 five five with the pedestal in the middle. So this is just one use of that. We'll use another option here. Turn it back off. Grab ourselves a generator. Or actually, we'll change that. We'll grab ourselves a furnace. Furnace. Grab ourselves a little bit of coal. Basic. And we'll grab ourselves, my favorite, the potato. Set our furnace down. Coal in. Put some potatoes. See how quickly the arrow moves and how it's growing. Or cooking. Right click. And it sped that up. You can see how quickly that that itself is almost the uh, equivalent of having close to a supremium furnace uh, for speed. Not exactly, but close. Um, but you can imagine how quickly a supremium furnace would go in this situation. So uh, the watch, uh, in my opinion, best used on a pedestal uh, to auto, uh, speed up a lot of your different processes and automations that you are making. But again, you can also use it as the Fast forward, slow rewind if you need to, uh, but you'll find in my builds with Project E, these little guys are all over the place. All right, so uh, watch your flowing time, an incredibly handy device to get used to or get access to. Um, and when it comes to Project E, probably in my opinion, one of the best items in here. Uh, the armors and weapons are of course really, really good, but uh, that one specifically, that watch of flowing time uh, can really be a game changer for you and the automations and processes that you are using. Uh, but that's it for this one. Pretty easy one today. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. At the bottom of the homepage is a place you could submit email requests uh, for recommendations, suggestions, or questions you may have. And while you're there, you'll also find my streaming schedule, links to all my tutorials and videos. You'll find a whole mess of things, including the ODG store. Where you can get some cool ODG merch and just a lot of different resources you may find helpful. So I do recommend checking out the website. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.